what's up guys today i'm going to show you how to install windows 11 or any other operating system so guys in the previous video we demonstrated how we can download windows 11 and if you have not watched that kind of video kindly refer to the previous video we will give a link of how you can reach to the previous video so guys let's continue okay before we can download and install windows 11 there are some system requirements that we must fulfill 2 GB RAM at least then 8 GB HDD a disk space then the processor speed should be at least 2.5 this is too high for some computers but uh, for my case it's 2.6 so it fulfills this requirement okay so after having considered this system requirement let's go down to tools to be used the first tool that you are going to use is called Rufus Rufus is an application that is used to create a bootable USB okay the second tool that we are gonna need here is Windows 11 image okay Windows 11 image we have already downloaded it so we have it in stock okay then USB flash disk okay USB drive let me include here drive at least 8 GB okay then we need a computer to install this operating system so guys whoever is having any trouble downloading Rufus or Windows 11 image I'll demonstrate it very fast so for the case of Rufus just come and type Rufus download and hit enter here it is you, you can download it from this point so for the case of Windows 11 just type go to this site get into PC just like that get into pc.com and hit enter and then come here at, at site in and type Windows 11 okay and it go here it is guys here it is you can down you can download it from this point okay guys so let's go back to our discussion so guys we have fulfilled all this requirement because here is our Windows 11 here is our Rufus so what do we do let's create a bootable USB remember we said Rufus is used to create a bootable USB okay so let's open our Rufus here double click yes here is the interface of Rufus okay the device that is here is a 16 GB flash disk okay so at a time you might be plugging more than two devices so you must choose a specific device that you want to create bootable okay then the second step is to select the disk image that we wanna boot okay so just click on the select and go to location where that disk image is located okay so in our case my location was downloads and then Windows 11 installation so here is our disk image click on it and open right see it's already here Windows 11 dev this one okay and then come leave leave this one the way it is okay then come to the partition scheme well some computers are using GPT and some are using MBR okay remember GPT stand for grid partitioning scheme okay but MBR stand for master boot record okay GPT is a new technology MBR is an old technology but still applies even this computer is using MBR so the computer that I want to install Windows 11 is using MBR 
partition scheme so i will click here and select mbr partition scheme okay leave the everything the way it is now just everything the way it is leave it okay the only changes that we have made is only under select through which you have select our operating system that you wanna install and the partition scheme you must take into consideration which partition scheme your computer is using okay for new computers for new computers basically they're using gpt because it is it's a new technology but old computers they are using mbr by default and mbr is still used today because even my computer is not that old but i'm using mbr okay so take into consideration to do the right thing yeah see after you have checked that everything is in place just kind just hit on the start right windows 11 is here my partition scheme is in br and i'm using 16 gb flash disk okay so i will hit start this is a warning that uh, your flash disk everything will be formatted and destroyed okay remember when you're installing an operating system or you're Remember when you are creating a bootable device, USB, I mean, every data that was originally in that USB will be destroyed, okay? Because that USB will be formatted first before creating it bootable, right? So, just create, okay. So, can you see, deleting partition. Guys, this might take more than 10 minutes. So, I'll pause the video. And return when this is finished guys here it is it's almost finishing so after this one we shall have achieved creating a bootable USB drive okay it's done see so the USB drive is ready to install a new operating system to every computer okay so what we'll do here basically is to click on close because it's ready we have created a bootable usb drive okay so guys i'll close this one then power off the computer and proceed to installation of windows 11 so guys let's do that very fast close close this one then we power off the computer 